Miss Lori here today with a Rose Girls haul. So you will notice I'm moving around the order of things a little bit this weekend because I wanted to get this Rose Girls haul up to you guys as soon as possible. I believe that Jenny is doing an RTS or ready to ship sale. I think it's Wednesday. Don't quote me on that. <laughs> Check the Facebook group to be sure for dates and times. But I believe that she's doing So it's next week. I'm filming this on Saturday, so I believe it's next week. And I wanted to get you my first sniff impressions of these in case you are interested in picking up some of these scents at the ready to ship sale. So there's that. So you will see, I'm gonna go a little bit out of order this weekend. So you'll see my empties and my weekly wax baskets as usual, but they might be a day behind. So keep an eye out for that and subscribe if you haven't already done so. <laughs> <laughs> Turn on all bell notifications so you know when I upload any new videos. I want to take a second and welcome you if you're new to the channel. I hope you decide to stick around and subscribe down below. And I want to welcome you back if you're a returning visitor or subscriber. I'm so glad that you are here and a part of the channel. Okay, so I picked this up. This was a pre-order. I want to say, was it June? I want to say something like that. But anyway, she's well within her turnaround time and so excited to have this order. Jenny Oaks is the owner, so here is her card. I'll put the information down below if you've never ordered from her before. This was a chunk muffin pre-order, so I'll show you those as soon as I show you the sample. My sample was pink lemon cotton candy, coming in these cute little chunk bags, so I appreciate these. Always get some great scents that <laughs> I haven't tried before. So I think this is pink sugar, some lemon and cotton candy. This is really nice. Yeah, this is, I, I love this. I would totally get this. I love Jenny's pink sugar. It's very, very good. Very, very nice and sweet and fun. It's just a fun, happy fragrance to me. So I'm happy to have this one. I saw some people were getting dad bod and I was like, oh no, my son would have loved it. <laughs> he likes those kinds of scents, but I'm happy with that one. Okay, so there's only one scent that I went crazy on, and I'm going to put the list, I'm going to scroll the list for you guys. I want you to leave it in the comment section down below. Which one do you think that I bought more than four? Because <laughs> the rest of them I only bought two or less of. So leave it in the comment section down below your guess. I mean, obviously you'll see towards the end of this video, but I'm just curious if you guys will pick up... <laughs> right away when you see the list going by of the scents that you think that I would pick up. Okay, so first scent, what should I do here so that I can throw you off a little bit? <laughs> okay, the first one is Moo Moo Track, Banana Cream Pie, Fresh Picked Strawberries, Birthday Cake, and Marshmallow Smoothie. So I'm going to take this out just in case you haven't never seen the Chunk Muffins because they are different than, I don't think any other vendor does this. <laughs> They're so cool. And she did it in cool cow colors. I was showing my husband. He wasn't that impressed. So I'm impressed. <laughs> I think it's so cute. So adorable. Love these as well. I do use Jenny's method of a fork. I mean, it, it they just pop apart. It's so crazy. You can have it right in your hand. Stick the tines of the fork in it. It just starts like falling apart. You don't need to heat these up or do anything crazy. This to me smells like... The first impression that I got when I stuck my face in the bag was of a mashed banana. That's what it really smells like to me. Like a really ripe mashed banana. Yeah, and I'm not getting, so I'm not getting the fresh picked strawberries at all in this. It does smell, I guess it does smell like maybe a banana bread that's a little bit undercooked, like it's still cooking in the oven, but you get that really good fresh banana, mash up banana. I don't know. I'm not getting the other components real. I mean, birthday cake, I mean, a lot of times it adds a really nice, smooth bakery component. Marshmallow smoothie, the same type of thing. Right now, I'm really getting a really good, strong banana. And I love banana scents. You guys know that. So this is really, really good. I'm going to see if it comes out on warm because I know a lot of people really love this scent. Everybody's going crazy. This is good. I really enjoy it. I'm cold so far. I've never melted it. And I love the color. So I did pick up two of the Moo Moo Track. And I will be sticking them over in the box over here. Okay. 
so then we have wake and bake in cookie land sugary breakfast bakery confetti cake toffee butter butterscotch pretzels and cookies so we also have the coffee samplers <laughs> this is gonna be a long video so to me i really get the butterscotch bakery in this one first and foremost this one i think needs a little bit of cure time it's a little on the light side it really reminds me of her cookie land which I really like, but I don't know about the sugary breakfast bakery because that's the other component that was added to the cookie land. I'm, I'm really mainly getting cookie land and the butterscotch is really standing out to me on this one. So yeah, I like this one. I did pick up two of them. I'm gonna let this cure, especially with vanilla bakery scents and I know with Jenny's Wax, I always cure. I cure everything, you guys know, for a month from the time that I receive it. But definitely vanilla bakery scents, I would definitely say set these aside, give them a little time to cure. So let's set that one up. Aside. Okay. Blue Hawaiian and Gilligan's Brew is tropical fruits and coconut cream. I seem to have like a fruit fly in here, which is like, ooh, I want your moo <laughs> I want the banana, I guess. So yeah, this one's really, really nice. I do get the Blue Hawaiian and some of the coconut. It says coconut cream. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, this one's gonna be really nice. I only got one of these. I thought I would use these in my bedroom. And, you know, because I like my fruity scents in there. You guys know that. So I thought I'd give it a try in there. And plus, we're kind of coming to the end of, I knew we would be coming to the end of, like, summer scents. So I didn't want to go too, too crazy with them. So I'm glad I got that one. We have Snickerdoodle, Snickerdoodle and Butter Pecan Cookies, which is Snickerdoodles and Butter Pecan Cookies. So there we go. We needed a lot of scent notes written on the label for that one, didn't we? <laughs> Yeah, so this one, I I get both of those components. It, honestly, it smells a lot like Cookie Land to me. It does, which is not a bad thing. I can always have more Cookie Land, but that's what it kind of reminds me of. It's very similar. So we'll give it some time to cure. This is really nice. I like this. It almost smells a little bit like some vendors' versions of pumpkin pecan waffles, but like a little bit... I don't want to say tamped down, but a lighter version. It almost kind of reminds me of that, which is a good thing because I love it. So I got two of these. So yeah, it's kind of cookie land meets pumpkin pecan waffles a little bit to my nose, which is a good thing. So I will enjoy this one. Again, it probably needs a little bit more cure time. Okay, so then we have blue raspberry lime cotton candy. So we have blue raspberry lime and cotton candy. Another one that's like, okay, I can't figure that one out. So the first thing that really hits me on this is lime, which it surprised me because I thought it would be more blue raspberry. You get the lime and then the blue raspberry comes in at the end and I, I can see it's like it's a blue raspberry cotton candy lime. So yeah, this is really, really pleasant. It's very sugary sweet. So if you're not as into those types of scents as I am, it might be too sugary for you, but I love this. So yeah. This will be another good one. I only picked up one of those for my room. Thought that would be really nice. Okay, so then I picked up carbs with ghoul friends. Pumpkin sugar donuts, cookies, bread, fluff puffs, vanilla bean noel, and vanilla wafers. So I do believe I have a chunk bag of this as well. That's why I didn't go too, too crazy on this. I'm telling you that the struggle was real. Trying to decide, like, did I want enough for loaves of certain things so that I didn't have to worry about going for them later? Because this is very, very popular, and I thought, mm, do I want to? But then I thought, I'm very much a seasonal melter. I already have a chunk bag. It's like, it'll come around again. That's the thing. It's like, I know it's going to come around again. Do I have to store <laughs> two years worth of wax in a certain scent? No. So I thought, okay, I'll go with that. But this is really fabulous. I mean, look at the colors. I love the colors that she does for this. So fun. This is fantastic. I love this scent. So yeah, you get, there's definitely a hint of spice in here, or maybe a little bit more than a hint, but it's good. I like the spice. It's kind of like a spiced donut to me, pumpkin spice donut, and that's probably what it says. I mean, pumpkin sugar donuts. It's got that spice to it, and that's what I really, really like about this. This is good. It's, again, I'm a seasonal melter, so it'll be perfect for the fall you know, in October, just perfect. So I did get two of these. Okay, and so then I picked up Hippie Juice, 
which is watermelon, pink lemonade, strawberry, and coconut rum. So again, I picked up one of these just as something to try in my bedroom. This is really nice. This is another one that's super sugary sweet. If <laughs> that's not your jam, <laughs> it might be a little bit too sweet for you, but this is fantastic. I really get the watermelon and the strawberry in here. Yeah, it really smells like that. I don't know that I get coconut rum per se, and pink lemonade just adds a really sugary component to it. Yeah, this is going to be fabulous. I really love these kind of scents. You guys know. It almost, my son would probably say it smells a little fizzy to his nose because of all of the extra sugary goodness in here. So, yeah, it's going to be fabulous. So I'm going to narrow this down a little bit for you guys to make it a little bit maybe easier. I will give you four scents. <laughs> if you haven't already made your guess, four cents that it could be that I went and bought quite a few of. So let's start with orange sherbet and fizzy pops. We have blueberry vanilla sugar bread. We have a grape blonde moment. And we have strawberry cookie land. So let me know in the comment section down below before we get into it which one you think is the one that I purchased quite a few of. So I'm going to give you some time to think about that. Let's go to the coffee samplers and we'll come back to these. Okay, so I did get two coffee samplers that came in these cute bags. I wanted to do that because I know that Jenny in the past has done different scents and different samplers and I was really crossing my fingers and hoping that she, <laughs> she would do that this time and she did not disappoint. So I was excited. I got different scents in not every single scent was different, but you'll see as we go through it. So the first one I have is Ooey Gooey Campfire Coffee. So this one, it definitely smells like you're out at a campfire. To me, you've got a little bit of that, yeah, like, oh, like a little smoky element to this. And I get like a caramel coffee. That's what it reminds me of. It's so funny because when I first, because I opened these, of course, you guys know opened it up and I sniffed it and I was like, oh my gosh, this almost smells like, it reminds me of like a Palo Santo just because of that. It's like the smokier version. I don't think that's what it is. And if it is, it's very subdued, but this is nice. A lot of smoky scents kind of bother me, but that one's pretty good. I like it. I'm obviously going to melt it. We have Jumping on Espresso Clouds. Cute. What is that? Blue and pink here. Jumping on Clouds is like, what? Is it like her... Is it marshmallows and all kinds of stuff like that? Kind of blend. And then espresso. So this is really sweet. I don't get a lot of espresso, I will say. But then again, you guys know, I am the girl that likes the super strong, not burnt coffee. I don't. I wouldn't say it like that, but like something that is really, really strong and concentrated. So like a concentrated coffee blend. So this is definitely on the sweeter side. So if you like sweeter coffee blends, I would definitely go for this one. It's good. I like all coffee blends. I mean, let's be honest. <laughs> coffee is always my friend. But this one is definitely for those days when I want something a little bit sweeter and not as pronounced or concentrated. So yeah, that one's really good. We have Raspberry Mocha Rice Krispie Treats. I was like, what? <laughs> okay. Very cool. I love the colors, love like the raspberry <laughs> fun color. So this one, I will say I don't smell coffee at all. That's fine because it's really good. This is kind of like a, like if you put raspberry syrup on top of Rice Krispie bars. So this one is kind of like somebody brewed coffee a little while ago and it's kind of dissipated, but you get like a hint of it, like a, just like a little whiff. It's not like somebody just brewed a cup of coffee or a pot of coffee, not at all. It's kind of in the, it like hits your nose at the back. So you get hints of it, but I, so I have a coffee drawer because you guys know I'm obsessed with coffee. I wouldn't necessarily put this in my coffee drawer just because it's not super heavy on the coffee, but this is good. So if you want something that's much sweeter and just has a hint of it, this might be good for you. Really nice raspberry. There are no floral notes in that at all. That's going to be fantastic. I think it needs a little bit of cure time just because of the vanilla part of the Rice Krispie Treats. But yeah, that's going to be fantastic. Okay, pumpkin spice latte. Very seasonally appropriate. <laughs> what, those are going to be everywhere very, very soon if they're not already. So yeah, that's, what, that's definitely what I smell. And I think I bought this in... 
I buy these in mini melters? I feel like I have this scent. That's good. I definitely get the pumpkin spice and then the coffee component. Very, very good. I get both of those. The pumpkin spice doesn't take over the whole blend so that it's not coffee at all. It's good. This is going to be really nice. I think I got another one in the other bag, so that'll be fun to melt. We have peppermint mocha cupcakes here. This one, so I know that she's known for her peppermint and I can see why. Peppermint doesn't always agree with me, but this is fantastic. And this is very strong in the peppermints. Like you take a, a whiff, you're like, whoa. But it's definitely peppermint and mocha. So if you don't like chocolate and wax, this is probably not for you. But definitely reminds me of a, like a dense chocolate cupcake with like a peppermint icing on top and some of the like candy canes or something like sprinkled on top. That's what it kind of reminds me of. Yeah. This is fantastic. I will buy more of this. I know it's probably shocking to a lot of you. <laughs> like what? <laughs> really? So I would say the coffee is really, really in the background on this one. So it's mainly the mocha and the peppermint. This is fantastic. Really enjoy that one. Okay, so this I believe was on, was it on Instagram or Facebook? Could have been Facebook. Lattes with Ghoul Friends. Jenny had posted a picture of the really cool swirls of this. So this is the Carbs with Ghoul Friends with some coffee in it. And this is really nice. I mean, again, this to me really smells like carbs with cool friends. First and foremost, you really get that with maybe a hint of coffee. So I'm going to let it cure. But yeah, I mean, if you like carbs with cool friends, you'll probably really enjoy this one because it's not overly heavy on coffee to my nose. Okay, we have Luke's Diner. I have no idea. I did not look up the scent notes for these. <laughs> They're not on here. So all right, let's see. So this one is a much stronger coffee, definitely a stronger coffee. But there's almost like a, it smells like, I don't know if it's it, is it like, let's see, I'm guessing here. It almost has like that, what I said, the pumpkin pecan waffles scent in the snickerdoodle and cookie land, whatever that one was. That's what it kind of reminds me of. So it has those components in it along with coffee, but it's much stronger. Now you're gonna, I'm gonna wanna know what it is. I'll put the notes down below for you guys, see how off I am. But yeah, that's what it smells like to me. So I don't know if this is like cookie land or if this is like her, like waffles, French toast type of blend. But yeah, it's a really, it's a good scent with the coffee. I would totally get more of this one. We have cider coffee cake, so I'm a little, I'm a little scared. I guess now I've got cinnamon. <laughs> Although my nose is getting better. It, I think it, it's so stupid. <laughs> I shouldn't say that, but it's like, it's like it knows, my nose knows that we're coming into fall, hence the decorations that I just did. <laughs> it's not done by any stretch of the imagination, but I had to put something up there to kind of start to get us in the fall mood, right? Because I know so many people are like ready to, I'm ready for the weather. Let's put it that way. Totally ready for the weather. Love the fall. It's my favorite season, time of the year. So yeah. Okay. So yeah, this definitely has that like, I want to say like apple spice or like apple cider spice to it. I don't get a lot of coffee. So it's, it, I could see coffee cake. It's like a apple cider coffee cake. Yeah, I can see that. It's good. It's nice. I don't, I don't know how much of this I would need because you guys know how I feel. I'm very seasonal and for those types of scents. Like I can melt like, fr like fruity, <laughs> super sugary scents all year round, but on certain scents, I'm very seasonal for those. So I think I'm going to enjoy it, but I think that's the one and done for me. We have espresso donuts at Tiffany's. So cupcakes at Tiffany's with espresso, I'm assuming. This does definitely has her donuts. I don't know if it's like cinnamon sugar donuts, cupcakes at Tiffany's and espresso, because what I'm mainly getting is the cinnamon sugar donuts. That's mainly what's hitting me. It's got like a creamy component, which is probably like that cupcakes at Tiffany's, which kind of can have like a chocolatey note, but not really in some of the oils. So yeah, it kind of has that like creamy chocolatey note a little bit. 
and the cinnamon donuts, which is strong. So this is much more of a cinnamon sugar donut type of blend with a hint of espresso and a hint of the cupcakes at Tiffany's. It, the, the donut portion really takes over the cinnamon. Yeah, that's what you really get when you open that one. So that's, that's your kind of blend. You might wanna pick that one up. And the last one in this bag is Night Shift. Like I said, this is gonna be a long one. Hopefully you got a snack, a cup of coffee, <laughs> glass of wine, I don't know. This is gonna be another one. I'll put the notes down below. I keep looking, I have candles over here. I have a haul for you guys. And I keep looking at this particular candle and it's so funny, I need to turn the label around. <laughs> this is not, that's all I'm thinking. But this really kind of smells like a, it does, it smells like caramel, but it's on the darn label over here. So now I'm like, my, you know how your brain plays tricks on you? It's so funny, because I'm like, there's caramel on that one. But it does, it's not super, it's kind of like a, I would say like a caramel macchiato. I could be totally wrong. But that's kind of what it reminds me of. It's nice and creamy. It's not, like Charity says, skunky coffee. I am so glad that she has said that because I think that some coffee and even skunk smell like coffee sometimes, like like really strong coffee and my husband thinks I'm nuts. So that's why we all need each other in this community, right? Because <laughs> we validate each other's noses. But anyway, so no, this is much more of a creamy coffee scent. So I want to see the notes on this, but it kind of and I don't know, like I said, could be the darn candle throwing me off. Look for a haul later in the week and you'll know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but anyway, this one's really, really nice. Okay, so I got another one. So I'm just going to go through the ones that are different. I'll show you what I got, but I'll just obviously sniff the ones that are different. So I did get another espresso donuts at Tiffany's. Jumping on espresso clouds. So I got a second one of those. Pumpkin spice latte. This one, I'll just go through it. And this is a, these are really hefty chunks. Sugar cookie latte. I do have this already in mini melters. You'll see it in my upcoming basket coming up. Yeah, this one to me, again, there's not a lot of coffee in this at all. It, and if it is, it's much more of a creamy, very sweet coffee. So a latte, but something where the person doesn't really wanna taste a lot of coffee. They want a lot of like cream and sugar and just delicious goodness. And then you get the sugar cookie in here. So yeah, this is not, I wouldn't necessarily consider this a coffee scent for me because I like it so strong, but yeah, this is good. I really enjoy this one. So I've had that one before. We have peppermint mocha cupcakes, which I'm super excited to have more of. So maybe I will, I will cut these cause these are big. I will definitely cut these in half. And so now I have enough that I can put in my warmers, all six of my tea lights if I want and enjoy it that way. Okay, this one is different. This is almond biscotti and absolute coffee. So I have both of these sets by themselves because I absolutely love her absolute coffee and the almond biscotti. When she brought that out, I was like, oh my gosh. I think it's almond biscotti. Is it almond biscotti cookie land maybe? About a couple bags of those. So this is definitely like it really, wow. It hits you the almond, which is kind of like a cherry almond. So if you don't like the cherry almond scents, probably not for you, but I happen to love it. So yeah, it's so good. Oh, it's so good. And then you get the really strong coffee in this. Oh, yeah, so I will be <laughs> getting more of that one. <laughs> so this one was interesting. Star Beans Cafe Bread. So this one was new as well. So this one also is really reminds <laughs> so it reminds me of I keep thinking of it. So this one is really really good. This is not super heavy on a coffee either, but it's definitely there. So it's kind of like a coffee bakery scent. So you have all this delicious bakery goodness going on. I feel like I get sugar cookies and some bread and almost like a little not cherry, but a little bit of nuttiness to this. So almost the pumpkin pecan waffles type of blend. And then, or like the butter pecan type of blend, I feel like I get in this with some really, really good high-end, super sweet coffee. That's what this reminds me of. Oh, this one's really good. Totally get that one. I love coffee scents, you guys. 
Okay, oatmeal cookie latte. Look at the fun, like pinkish purple color. Very cool. Okay. So yeah, this is a very, <laughs> this is cinnamon. <laughs> this is a very much a cinnamon coffee. So, and I have said this before, I really kind of like cinnamon coffee blends. So I have a blend from another vendor that is very much like that. It's very creamy cinnamon coffee and I absolutely love it. And so I think this one is going to do the very, very similar thing. I might amp up the coffee just a little bit because to me, what happens is the coffee kind of cuts some of that sharpness of the cinnamon because it's sharpness of the coffee, but yeah. So this would definitely be a fall blend for me and I'll probably just add a little bit more of like her absolute coffee, like a mini melter to it and amp it up a little bit, but that's good. Okay, we have another ooey gooey campfire coffee. And the last one is roasted coffee bean ice cream. So in the blue, what is that blue and kind of a yellowish or cream colored wax. So I got quite a few different ones. So that was exciting. That was kind of what I was hoping for um, to get a good variety. So I'm super excited to be able to try a lot of different ones of these. So this one is definitely a roasted coffee. So it's very, it's a strong coffee with this one's strong. So if you like strong coffee, like I do this, this is probably for you. If you don't might be a little strong, but it, it's a very, very strong roasted coffee with a little bit of like you poured a tiny bit of milk and sugar in there or like high end cream and sugar in your coffee but it's definitely on the strong side for the coffee sets. So those are my coffee samplers, super excited. Let me clear this off and we'll get to the last four chunk muffins, last chance to put in your guess for what you think that I bought more than four of. I got six, I'm gonna be honest, I got six. So put in your guess now. Okay, so we're counting down to the one that I bought the most of. Okay, so the first one here is strawberry cookie land, strawberry pound cake, confetti cake, toffee, butterscotch, pretzels, and cookies. And I will say, I went back and forth because the next, so this one and the following one are ones that I could have easily bought four. I was thinking four, because would that be equivalent to a loaf? Maybe four or five of these would be equivalent to a loaf. And I really kind of wanted a loaf in both of these, but I thought, don't go crazy. You have a lot of wax. Got to melt through some of the wax. She'll bring it around again. <laughs> So anyway, I love this scent, Strawberry Cookie Land. It's so good. It's such a creamy strawberry bakery goodness. Ugh, it's so good. So do you get like the strawberry cake, like the pound cake? You do. You get the strawberry pound cake and the whipped cream and a little bit of that butterscotch toffee and all the rest of it just makes it such a delicious, heavy bakery scent to me. It's just so decadent. This is so good. Mm, so good. So I have two of these. The next one could have easily bought four, five, six, seven, whatever of, but I think I have two of these left. So I thought, you know what? That's, I'm going to say four or five is equivalent to a loaf. So this is the blueberry vanilla sugar bread. So you guys know how I feel about blueberry. I mean, to me, this is the most delicious smelling blueberry muffin. I think I've said this before when I hauled it before. It smells like the blueberry muffins that you make and you put the super sugary, like buttery strudel, streusel stuff on top. Oh, let me like crunch into that. It's so good. That's what this smells like to me. It is so good. So yeah, I could have ordered oodles of this and really kind of wanted to, but yeah, I'm trying to be good. It's not easy, <laughs> but this is really, really good. If you love your blueberry bakery scents, I would nab this one. I would go in and grab, I didn't get anything that I didn't like, 100%. I would grab more of all of these and recommend them if those are the type of scents that you like. Okay, so we're down to two. Which one? Which one do you think? This one. I only got one of this. <laughs> Orange Sherbert and Fizzy Pops. So. I really happen to, I mean, I love Fizzy. You guys know Fizzy Pops and Orange Sherbert. I happen to really love. But again, I do have a lot of Fizzy scents. I have a lot of scents that I use in my bedroom. And, 
you know, because I only have one melter in there, warmer, wax warmer, whatever you want to call it. And yeah, so I don't need a ton of the scent, but it's good. It's funny because her, it's, her fizzy pop oil is not my favorite, if that makes sense. So I like it better blended with other things. And to me, this that's what takes over this blend. So it might need a little bit of time or I might need to amp up a little bit of orange. Maybe add, like I could add the Rainbow Sherbert, which is a favorite of mine from Rose Girls. I might add this to, or add that to this blend. Because her, like I said, her Fizzy Pops by itself is not my favorite oil, but blended, I tend to really love it. So there's that. Okay, the, the one that I picked up, I did get six, like I said. And I will say, it's because I have never seen this blend from her before. She may have offered it before and I just missed it. But I'm on a grape kick. <laughs> I kind of said that in a previous video or two probably. And you guys know how I feel about Blonde Moment. It's one of my favorite oils. And Jenny's is fantastic. It's probably, the oil that she uses is probably my favorite. I think she was the first vendor I've tried Blonde Moment from. And so maybe that plays into it, but it is so good. So this is great Blonde Moment. Grapes, raspberries, strawberries, and iced champagne. So this is, I mean, look at how pretty. It's the purple. I love purple, like a yellowish, right, off-white type of wax. And this is so good. <laughs> I'm so glad I got so many of these because, I, like I said, I wasn't sure that I would see it again. And that's how I tried to order. Like, yeah, did I want six of these blueberry vanilla sugar breads? Sure. But I already had a couple and I've seen it offered a few different times. I have never seen this offered before. So I thought, you know what, I'm gonna grab this stock up and then if she only offers it once a year, I have enough. So that was my thinking. <laughs> anyway, this is so good. It is definitely grape and blonde moment. It makes the blonde moment shine a little bit brighter because of that really good grape scent in here. It's like a grape Kool-Aid to me. Yeah, it's so fun and fruity. I'm gonna love this in my room. I tend to really like grape scents. I like all of them really, but I've been on like a grape kick. I really like cherry. Yeah, so fantastic. I'm so glad that I stocked up. A bunch of these. <laughs> Can't carry them all, but so I'm so glad I stocked up on those and I don't have to worry about it if they don't come back because we are still waiting for Yoshi's Island of Yummy to come back around. Please give me a thumbs up if you see me request it on there so that we can get Jenny to pour it again. Especially if you like that scent, look for that because I ask for it every time and it hasn't come back. So I hope she does a Mario pre-order pretty soon. It's going to be ugly for my wallet, but yeah, <laughs> I hope she does that pretty soon. But yeah, we will be stocking up because I've only seen it offered the one time. Um, that we purchased it and you know we are saving our last couple of pieces for the next time so anyway let me know in the comment section down below if you guys were right on your guess was that your guess were you thinking it was going to be something else you guys know me so well so I'm sure there are several of you that <laughs> that got it right away you guys knew exactly which one I was wanting to get a ton of and I'm so excited to be able to get to melting these stay tuned Next week is Rose Girls Week. I would love to melt these. I may even try. I know, I might break my rule just to see it how it does because it'll be in my bedroom. It's a smaller area and it'll give me a chance to give it a try. It smells really strong and cold. I know a lot of people don't cure their wax like I do. I get it. Some people just pop it right in the warmer and have perfect performance out of it. So I might try it. I might. I might give it a try. Cause like I, I have several of these and I'm kind of, I'm super excited. Next week is Rose Girls Week. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed this trip through my Rose Girls order and I will see you next time. Bye everybody. Mm -hmm.